Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. I hope everybody will have a healthy and a happy 2022. Besides, we continue to talk about medicinal herbs and how to extract them. I would like a new session to share with you an advanced research regarding the health. And today we start the first series talk about the brain health. And this first topic is about Alzheimer's disease and its treatment with ketogenic diet. Because this is a new style, I really would like to know if you like it, this is helpful, or what's your questions, comments, and suggestions. Please leave your notes at the down the comment section. So today I'm going to share with you a recent published paper. It's published in 2021, the December, uh, by a group of uh, researchers from uh, different organizations, including University of California, Davis, and two other organizations. And the topic of this research is about a narrative review on the effects of a ketogenic diet on patients with Alzheimer's disease. In this paper, they summarize the study, the clinical trials using the keto diet to treat the Alzheimer's disease. This have a very interesting summary and it give us the hints how the keto helps improve the cognitive effects on the patients and what are the key factors it can make it more efficient. If you're not familiar with Alzheimer's disease, it's a kind of a brain disease, it's a part of uh, dementia. So when people got a AD, so they're losing their memory and the losing their function to recognize face and they couldn't tell where they are and even in a familiar place. AD is the number six leading cause of death in US and 11% of the people who are aged over 65 in US has Alzheimer. This is a very big impact disease, especially for the senior people. There are a lot of treatments try to improve the cognitive function. One of the way people trying is a ketogenic diet. It's called KD. By using diet to treat a disease has been traced back to 500 BC. At the time, people are using fasting to treat some disease. The ketogenic diet's goal is to reduce the reliance on using the glucose as a fuel for the brain. AD, the Alzheimer, actually is a potentially reduce the function of the glucose transporter in the brain. So ketones can provide as an alternative the energy supply for the brain. So that's why the ketogenic diet be used to reduce the reliance on the glucose, that's a carb. So the keto is normally a high oil or high protein with a low carb. The very important information presented in this paper is, so they compare like a different studies to measure if they reach the ketosis, that is the blood ketone level reach the 0.5 to 0.6 millimole per liter. So these the the benchmark to showing you have enough ketone in the blood to provide energy for the brain. They summarize the 20 studies in this table. Um, they uh, include the cognitive improvements, some of the yes, some of the no, and uh, they also summarize what are the keto or the diet you're using. So one of the major factors they found is MCT. This is called a medium chain triglyceride. This is a, a kind of a short um, chain fat. And this plays an important role to improve this cognitive um, improvements. 
So let's see. Within the 20 study, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So there are eight of these, they see the cognitive improvements out of the 20. Of course, they also test like uh, the uh, patients. Some of them have AD, uh, some of them like uh, overweight adults, and some of them are healthy adults. So from the healthy adults, they don't really see the cognitive improvements um, with their, uh, during their study. But uh, for the patients with AD, it's uh, very encouraging. Uh, eight of this study, let's see, out of the eight of this study, so one has MCT, two have MCT, three, four, five. So five out of eight, those have uh, improved the cognitive function by using the MCT. So by summarizing the data, they say the MCT may be a factor to improving the cognition in the AD patients but that is something needed to be tested in the future. For the autism children, they found that the cognitive improvements after consuming LCD or KD with MCTs. And uh, they say the children with autism spectrum disorder also experienced improved cognitive results. And for the elderly patient, uh, the participants, they are taking the LCD with MCTs. LCD is a low carb diet with uh, medium chain triglyceride. So they experience increase in the ketone bodies to ketosis level. And this, uh, their cognitive function was also improved as a result of the, the ketone bodies. So these are the promising results. Uh, however, as I said, because the volume, small volume of the study, so there are further uh, research needed to be done. So now this is the first video regarding the advanced research re uh, on the health. Uh, I talk about the ketogenic diet on the AD patients. Please let me know if you like it, any uh, comments and uh, suggestions, those are, are super important for me, and other questions or other topics you like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.